Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial we're going to be fixing a little issue that comes up for some people when they're installing DaVinci Resolve 14 beta. We are going to be installing the beta 2 version which just came out uh, probably the evening that I recorded this and I'll show you what happens. So you try and start it up and everything's looking great. We've even got task manager over here showing that DaVinci Resolve is running. We got this thing, everyone's excited, they're going to use cool and nothing happens. DaVinci Resolve is still running over here, but this screen never shows up. So how do we fix that? First of all, we're just going to go ahead and end task there. Then we're going to navigate to in Explorer, and I'm sure there's a similar path in Finder, to see program data, which might be hidden. So you might have to reveal that. Then Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, and we're going to, whoop, just hide, you know, little movie magic there. We're going to select dot config dot data, config dot dat, and config dot dat dot back. Sweet new rap song. All right, then we're just going to go ahead and move those out. You can move them into a new folder. We're going to save those just in case, you know, something screws up. You've got those as a backup. Exit out of that. Then we're going to go to Programs and Features and Control Panel, and we're going to go ahead and uninstall Resolve, and just for good measure, uninstall Resolve Panels. Then we're going to go ahead and reinstall DaVinci Resolve. So just, you know, double click on it, hit yes, hit install, next. Of course, read the entire thing, accept, next, next, install, and then finish. If we take a look, we've got this new config.dat file that's all made for us. We'll go ahead and launch Resolve and cross our fingers. There we go. We've got it. We can go to our Tuts project and look at us. We <laughs> playing around with some stuff and <laughs> changing people's ethnicities. We've got we've got a working project and all these crazy grades. That's not Resolve messing up. That's me being a goofball and playing around. So you know. <laughs> Just don't don't worry about that. We've got color. We'll go ahead and throw a LUT on here. Pretend like we're cool. New color. Look at that. And you're ready to grade. Got all sorts of good stuff. We'll turn this timeline off. Who uses that? Jeez. And, you know, we've got DaVinci Resolve 14 beta up and running, so you can play around with whatever you want. So I hope this helped out a lot. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below, especially about DaVinci Resolve 14. Uh, once again, just a PSA. I would still probably not recommend using this for projects where people are paying you. And it does install over 12.5. I don't know of any way to use them together. But, you know, it's fun to play around with it. Leave feedback to the Blackmagic people so that they can know how to make stuff good and be on the ball for whenever everything's nice and stable and good to go. So be sure to subscribe to Meester Media for more great videos like this. Check out MeesterMedia.com slash products for LUTs and power grades and other goodness. Once again, I've been Theo with Meester Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>